Hello and welcome to another session of our Java tutorials. In this session, we're going to create a program to print an inverted triangle. Let us begin by creating a variable that will determine the size of our triangle. Next, let us use a nested for loop to implement our logic. We can start here by creating our variable and we can say int in name of variable n equals to let's initialize it with seven and semicolon and then we can start our first for loop the outer one we can say four and then int and then we can name it i equals to and then say n minus two so the other loop goes from n minus two to zero and it is used to control the number of rows so we put a semicolon and then say i as long as i is greater or equal to zero and then decrement i by one and then we can use this uh curly braces to open this code block and say sys out and then this one will take us from one row to the other then the next thing we do now is to go for the next uh, inner loop this is our first inner loop of and we will have two of them so we can say four then let's uh, create another variable and call it j and say j equals to zero and then semicolon and then uh, this inner loop j goes from zero to n minus i minus one so say j is less than n minus and then i minus one and then a semicolon another semicolon and then increment j by one and then open this code block again by this curly braces and say sys out and then this one will be responsible for the spaces so we put an empty space here and then now we go for our last for loop which we can write it down here and we say for and then int we call this j again we say j equals to zero and then a semicolon and then as long as j is less or equal to two multiplied by i and then another semicolon and then j plus plus then we open this code block with another uh, curly braces and sys out and this one we use to print out our star so we print our star here and then so this second inner loop is used to print the stars the number of stars decreases as i increases so guys we can try to run this and see if everything is working so this one actually should be a print method as well as this one as well should be a print method and we can run this and as you can see we have our star and then we can even put uh, another line so we can put it here and let's run it you can see now we have our loop so uh, the reason we did uh, we did this minus i minus one I will demonstrate that in a second so this one is for space let's put an s just to be able to see vis visually the demonstration let's run again and as you can see there is a space here that you cannot see it until you print something in the first a the first row we have one space the second one we have two the third one we have three and so on and so forth so as you can see the number of spaces keep increasing as the number of stars keep reducing so this i and one helps us to to fulfill those functions well this one the reason we subtracted two here is because we had another another pair of star two rows of stars here that were not aligning properly so if i can remove this you will be able to see that so let's run this as you can see we 
subtract 2 here in order to subtract these two lines. So we say minus 2. Then when you run it, we just have this one lines. So guys, let's remove this S here because we don't need it anymore and run it again and see the results. So guys, this is an inverted triangle and if you combine it with the full triangle, you will get a diamond. So that's what we will see on our next tutorial.